good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've already pre-disassembled this machine so that we can just go through a real quick step-by-step -step of how to get this machine apart for changing the, ver the variable speed drive belt inside the head. The first thing you're gonna do is this cover right here, which I've got partially disassembled. I'm gonna take this off. There are flathead screws in there, right here, flathead screws, four millimeter. We're gonna reach that up in here through the hole of the motor shaft. So you'll see it up underneath here. Then you have an associate come over and push the brake. He pushes the brake while you undo the screw. Screw will come out because you've locked the pulley. It will look something like this. There'll be a washer and the eight millimeter threaded screw will be right there. We'll go ahead and just go uh, pay attention to the electrical, which of course you've shut off with a uh, disconnect switch, made sure you're not gonna get zapped with 220 or 440. Take the nuts off of the three terminal posts. There will be wire nuts connecting these to an external line. Take those off, take your fitting off, and pull this wire out of the electrical box. Then you're gonna take the screws, the long screws out of here. They come right out. You may need some help with this part, but typically you can actually just lift it straight off and that takes the motor off. Now we've gotten our screws from the bottom of the machine already extracted. Just take them out, don't do anything just yet. We're gonna take these screws off here and we're going to disconnect the screw down here once we get this out. And we're gonna leave this hanging to the side. We're gonna go ahead and remove the top bearing cover, these screws here. They also act as extractors, so you can thread these into the holes, two of them, and push this up so that you can get this bearing cover off. Now we're ready to go ahead and take this nut off of this screw. It's a post that goes up in there that holds the tilter. You're going to thread this down all the way through the casting until it lets go, like so. This is a part you can cut out. There we go. And it comes off like this. Nice and clean inside. We're gonna take these screws right here off the tilter plate. This is what actually pulls the bearing and the pulley assembly down and lets you move. These two special screws hold the tilter plate on. Then we just lay this to the side. Head and lift this completely off of the machine. This is your rear pulley assembly. This is a nice new one we've got in there. This belt comes apart, just take it out. We take the new belt. You basically just get a soft edged hammer, the tail of it. And what we're doing here is we're, uh, we're collapsing the spring and expanding the pulley. And it takes a little bit of doing. Now the pulley is up, have an associate hold that pulley up for you. You want to always make sure it doesn't slip back out. Slide it underneath the front pulley and then set it right back down inside the same place where you got it. That is just the simplified version of how to change the belt. Everything that you need to know to put this machine back together, just run the film in reverse and you'll see everything.